So this is a game I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. It is called Lake. It's a small indie game. You control a character called Meredith in 1986. And she has decided to give up her busy day job in the city to fill in for her dad as a mail carrier. It sounds so simple, but it looks so quaint, so pretty. I'm just really intrigued to just play this game. I don't know. The, cap the trailer really captured me. And there is a demo out on Xbox today and also on Steam tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, Lake is scheduled to be released on September 1st. And obviously, if I like it, I will 100% come back and play the whole game. <laughs> no doubt about that. Resolution on. What does that mean? I have no idea. All right. Let's just jump in. Let's go. A new game. Peaceful. No mobiles. No internet. Very rural. I'm down. I'm ready. Add it 87. Add it. Okay. What is this? Ah, she's still back in a in a city job. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason I can't be at Labor Day party. Oh no! What what is that? I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad we made the deadline. I, I have no idea what that is. But I'm glad we can now spend two stress-free weeks in old Province Oaks. Ooh. So two weeks off, I guess. Booked holiday. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake hey, you Steve. up. Hey, Steve. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, Who I'll fell tell in the you pool? all about it at work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh... Do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. So Labor Day is a annual holiday to celebrate the achievements of workers. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Um, first of September. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. That's my name, Mr. Coleman. Please, just call That's me. That's my Frank. surname. We're colleagues now, after all. <laughs> well, okay, Frank. <laughs> Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. All right. It's amazing the amount of employers that cannot stand you having a day off work. That they cannot stand it. Oh, two weeks is a, it's a really long time. Damn. Two, really? Two weeks? Can you come back sooner? This no. Lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir. What's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. You make it sound very simple. Okay. It's like a proper UB UPS fan. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we get the occasional UPS van like that, but our vans look very different. Can I run? Right, mailbox 300. Easy. E I'm done. Easy peasy. Look around. Must be able to run, surely. Nope. <laughs> it's the casual stroll. And I'm Nothing fine with that. Right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. 
I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Ooh, okay, we're changing it up. A proper big package. A PS5, maybe. No. It's 1986, Scott. All right, package. Do I have to go to the front door? All right. 103 High Street. I, I, I believe that is the right package. Yep. That's lighter than I thought. So you can't go in here, can you? Nope. We don't... Also, I don't really have mailboxes. Not really. I know. What a weird country we are. Talk about the UK, by the way. We're gonna see someone? Alright. Just leave it outside, I guess. You could not do that in the UK. Wowzers. <laughs> It'll be gone in seconds. And that bike. Jesus. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, <sighs> there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Oof. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. That is early. That is very early. Okay. Got a little suitcase. This is where we live. All things seem pretty good to me. Life seems good. There's a bit of popping. Hopefully that can be sorted out. Um, for launch. Alright, we're in. Monday afternoon. That's early, isn't it? Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. A blueberry pie. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, just let me have a day off, mate. Bug off. <laughs> I hate those sort of people. They just, like... My life does not evolve around work all the time. Gee. Good morning, Meredith. Hello. Ready for your first day? I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's do it. Yawn. <laughs> no, just be positive. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. That 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 may be useful. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! I have a feeling she might end up enjoying this. That's the prediction I've got. Can we? We must be able to run. Oh, that's the map, okay. What did I press for that? I don't know what I pressed. Ah, IB, okay. Um, that's the diary, okay, okay. Is there controls? There we go. Settings. There must be controls somewhere, surely. There we go. No, nope, that doesn't help me at all. Wonderful. I'm hoping the game tells me if there is a run button. Alright. We're in the truck. Open and close the map. So we are here. So these are the deliveries I need to make. Where's that? One Bear Creek. 
What could possibly go wrong there? Okay. I uh, once said there's a delivery list. Yeah. Okay, so we've got parcels and letters. First up is a parcel, I believe. This is the first one. Yep. Just gonna park it here. <laughs> Be a right nuisance. So this is Main Street. Is that a teddy bear? 207 Main Street. Yep. I think that's the one. Alright, 207. Where are you? Is this it? Maybe this is it? Hello, is this your parcel? Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Do you? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. I hope it doesn't. Alright. This feels like I'm in the middle of America. <laughs> uh, oh, did I park on the wrong side of the road? Of course I did. Sorry, sorry. Apologies, apologies. Alright, next up is a letter. Excuse my driving. 103 Main Street. It's actually quite chilled, isn't it? Being quite sleepy. In a good way. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. I guess so. Uh, which way do we go here, guys? Left or right? I'm gonna go left first. Get that over and done with. I'm actually enjoying this. See, I knew she would. I bet it's just... I don't know, some some jobs are, I find, super, super intense. On the brain, physically, all the time, 24-7. I bet a job like this... Just be a bit more chilled out. Maybe, I don't know. I've got to make assumptions, because I've never done delivery jobs like this, ever. Uh, yeah, so I don't want to make assumptions, but... Yeah. Anyway. So what one is this? Ah, oh, must be the diner. Moe's Diner. Okay. Look left and right. Seems clear to me. 500 Lake Road. I mean, delivery men never really park properly, do they? Let's be honest. <laughs> it's fine. I'm doing it realistically. Uh, this is a parcel. 500 Lake Road. And there's a lot of houses in Lake Road. Wow. Alright. I'm pretty sure, guys, there's not a run button. And that's very ungame like. There's like so much of me that wants to just run, and I don't know if we can. Oh, proper American diner. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, <laughs> and the occasional gray hair. But my what? gosh, it's you, all right. Wow. Well, great. Cheers. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Uh, I've got, I've got stuff to do. Oh, screw it. Go on in. One drink. Okay. One quick I'm gonna drink. I'm going to regret then. this. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you. I will not take no for an answer. 
Um, coffee sounds good. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. You know me too well. Yes, you do. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. She must have come back for Christmas and stuff like that, surely. And Ashley, no? could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Have you locked him away? Oh. Ashley? Uh. Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Stupid, stupid. Oh, Lord have mercy. Get back to work. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, maybe you should go and check it out, maybe. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full Ugh. for a bit. Next maybe time, next time. I want to hear time. everything, you hear? Maybe next Don't time. be a stranger now. All right, cheers. All right, we're a lucky escape, some would say. Very lucky escape. So, looks pretty simple. Go down this main road. Deliver some of the final parcels. Okay. Easy. I know what I'm doing. It's not hard. In case you guys haven't worked this out, there is going to be more to this game. But Meredith's doing something really nice for her family. Um, her dad wants to go away with her mum and want to go on holiday. But I guess they need someone to replace him. The town relies on him. To deliver those parcels so uh, yeah that's what we did am i on the right side god knows <laughs> i don't know just go along with it it's all good yeah so she's taking two two weeks holiday to help out her dad by doing his job i mean that that's a pretty incredible daughter honestly that's, that's a good thing to do for your, for your family Really good thing to do. Right, next up, I believe, is a parcel. What a wonderful, wonderful little town, though. Oh. So quaint. Uh, mighty Ambrose River. Right, next stop, I believe, is here. 102 Lake Road. Just going to make sure on our delivery list. Um, oh, that's our parcel list. 102 Lake Road, yep. That's the place. No angry mm. dogs yet. These look like bills. Bit nosy. <laughs> Never look at someone's mail. That is very nosy. Right, next up. Yeah. This takes me back. To... Oh, there's cats! If we can stroke the cats, this game is officially 10 out of 10. It's a parcel. Ooh, didn't realise. See? This is a hard job. Open. Oh, there's a little... There's a little teddy bear! Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Uh, why are you not wrapped? Wow, Cat Central. It's got to be a crazy cat lady here, surely. Surely. Oh, look, Genevieve. Genevieve. A new mailman. <laughs> hello there. What's your name, then? I'm a male woman, actually. Uh, yeah, exactly. You could say that. Um... Hi, Miss Jenkins. Hi, Miss Jenkins. Scrub right? it off, it's fine. I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Correct. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 to be exact. 22 years to be exact, but 
Who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> I guess so. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? Oh, yes. You're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Mildred oh. Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. <laughs> Is that such a crime? Well, so what if on. I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yeah, this toy actually. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. Oh, it is rats. I mean, I it's realize. shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I apologize. I mean, yeah. We have to take it out of the van. It looks like a teddy bear. All right? I'm I mean, sorry. I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's just busy in the city, you know. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Meow. I'm actually hearing the cat sound, or is that me? Meow. Can I stroke a cat? She really does have a lot of cats. No, you can't stroke a cat, okay. The game is not 10 out of 10, it's 9 out of 10. I'm sorry. It's how the gaming world works. It's rough out there. You gotta be able to stroke your animals. It's just how it is. So this fan is very quiet. Alrighty then. We have another parcel. Hello. Wasn't we here yesterday? These guys are busy. 300. And after this we have one more letter and we are done. There's somebody there. I'm going to try and go in first. Nope, we can't go in. Okay, fair enough. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Correct. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Oh. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, thank you. Uh, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? No, she's not at all. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. Okay. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me. Got yes? it. All right, all right, I promise. All right, all right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, good. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. So, I, I never really understood this, but why does hitting stuff make stuff actually work? Why does it actually work by hitting stuff? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Like, if something breaks, you just smash it, and it seems to help. I don't know why, though. Got any local radio? I got something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. This is a much better job now. Your heart is back, and it's a fact. No 
Alright, uh, what's the best route here? So... Hmm. Might be just difficult to get to, potentially. We might have to go on foot. Not quite sure. I think this van isn't particularly uh, good at going off road, but who knows? Just when the story gets a little bit interesting. Ooh. All right, that works. So it's just... Oh right, Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Ah, can get there. Lovely. Not too bad. All right. Got one letter to deliver, and then we are good. There's oh. a new face. Oh no, I don't trust lumberjacks. I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I just don't. As of today, I'll be delivering your mail. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good? Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. All right, I get it. All right. <laughs> hmm. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. We are a little bit nosy, aren't we? I need to be careful about that. Yeah. Don't be too nosy. Right, I guess um, we are done. A little three-point turn. Now we go back home. Turn to the post office. Beautiful driving skills as always. And the rain has arrived, as predicted. Let's go back home. Is that the day done? What a nice little day. A nice little shift. I must admit, when I see uh, Amazon delivery men, they, they work incredible silly hours honestly like the hours they work are insane they have so many parcels to deliver as well in such a like short space of time doesn't look quite as relaxing as this can i do an overtake yeah they're trying to race me such a quiet little a quiet little town i love it i want to go here and meet that crazy cat lady. Right, that's the shift done. What a lovely day. Look at that view. There's even a dog in the background. That's, that's my dog. Oh. Do I stop? Okay. You alright? What are you doing? Why are you just standing in the road? Alright. Weird. Very weird. Oh! <gasps> Happy hour. Two for one. Every Sunday. Okay. Noted. Definitely noted. I'm guessing we get Sundays off as well. Right? Who does Sunday deliveries? Amazon. I know. Apart from Amazon. Shall try and park it back nicely. I'm gonna try and reverse that. Look at that skill. Done. Tuesday evening. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? It's it's great. Hi, Mom. I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only for two weeks. Dad drove that truck for decades. All right. I'll be fine. Um, I'm not Dad, remember? Oh, how is he, by the way? Yeah, but I'm not Dad, remember? How is he, by the way? Ugh, don't get me started. 
they went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Seems a little bit ungrateful, honestly. Um, what should we do? Watch TV or read a book? Open the agenda. Oh. It's empty. Alright. Um... I reckon read the book. Yeah. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed oh, no. right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? What a nice evening, just having a little book read. Wednesday morning, September 3rd. I'm guessing it's time. Yep. For another delivery. Where next? Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet peeve. Is it me? Is there more deliveries? PO positive or pet peeve? Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? I can actually get out now. Thank you. Stop me from doing my delivery. How dare you? Is this a letter? Guess we'll find out. Yep. 207. And 205. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing... Oh. Party invitations? Oh. It's going down. Do we have... A letter? I wonder if we can deliver to ourselves. <laughs> Can't see why not. There's a parcel just here on the right. Go past this pedestrian. Where are we delivering to now? Ooh, the flick shack. Oh, we can go rent a film out. Please. Main Street. I'm not sure what number this is. Uh, I should probably look it up, you know. Uh, let's have a look. Um, where exactly are we? There's only f okay, so it's main street. There's only three parcels, so shouldn't be too difficult. There you go. That must be the one. Ooh, DVDs, blockbusters. I miss going blockbusters. Ugh. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Um, is that a compliment? Oh, is she, she coming on to me? I like this all Ghostbusters in the background. You got Back to the Future as well. <laughs> Very cool. Is that a compliment? Ooh. Trust me, it definitely is. Well. Oh. Thank you, then. Thank you. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie. Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Um, I used to live here. Um, yeah, I'm just back for a bit, I guess. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. <laughs> Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, um, how's 
How's business? So, how's business? It's... Uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Do you have any recommendations? <laughs> you certainly have a lot. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice Terminator. is everything. <gasps> Nothing quite tickles the imagination Gremlins. like the right movie at the right time. Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings <laughs> twice? <laughs> Sounds a bit scary, actually. A little on the nose, don't you think? My kind of humor. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right, um, I'll check it out. Cheers. All right, I'll check it out if I have the time. We are so watching Take that tonight. The time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack, and there's plenty of choice regardless. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Hmm, something between these two. Don't quite know what it is, but all right. I love all the callbacks, Terminator. Gremlins. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's take a right here. A little letter. I guess eventually you learn all these streets off by heart, I would imagine. Is this East Third Street? I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. Got a parcel. Ride the curbs. Sorry about my terrible driving. What I like about the parcels is you have to go and speak to them. Gets me quite excited actually. The conversation. Uh, oh, it is playing. Playing straight apparently. Alright, fair enough. Got one more parcel left. I feel like I'm going to get attacked at some point or something. Something's going to go horribly wrong. Which is concerning a little bit, but I'll go with it. Anyone there? Like, sometimes they don't even answer, so... Commander Grace, Ooh. we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the <laughs> Evans family. Hello. Did I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> Guilty, as, Guilty charged. as charged. Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend what? when you see oh, her? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Ah. Uh. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You've lived here the whole time? You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. And she's got That's a kid. my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. There's so many callbacks to um, events as well, which is crazy. Uh, sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. 
Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. A lot. So. Time flies. <laughs> I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire? What? Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Taking over the family business. All right. All right. I'll drop, I'll drop by sometime. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Seems a bit. I get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. Tense. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. That was really awkward. I feel like Meredith has definitely abandoned this sort of part of her life part of her history a little bit left some really important people behind uh that's the feel i'm getting obviously she was really kind of close to this k and she's just not had any communication whatsoever which is a bit weird i guess i don't know i'm actually a really terrible person for keeping in contact with people i'm just really bad I'm terrible. Oh, that, that was close. Right, quick look at our map. We have a few over here. Ooh. There's a, a letter right near our house. Interesting, okay. Uh, close. Oh, there's actually quite a... F I've actually got quite a long way to go, I just realised. I've got to travel all the way to the other side of the map. 400 Lake Road. Oh, lovely. All right, let's get to it. We've got parcels to deliver, letters to deliver, things to do. Let's get it done. Alright, first letter is here. This is 100 New Street. Delivery. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Ooh. Ziegler, huh? Ziegler. I don't think they ever mentioned them. Maybe they don't go on very well. Also seems like maybe she doesn't communicate much with her family as well, which is a bit odd as well, maybe. We're not going to the cat lady again, surely. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> there she is. Oh, this could be awkward. Meryl, dear. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. All right. Um, he looks fine to me. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Um, sure, why not? Sure, I'll get right on it. Oh, this is Here, not my kitty. job. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. I heard the meow that time. <laughs> All right. Got a little cat delivery to do as well. Random. So where exactly is that? Should we go there on the way back? Oh, no. Wrong, wrong button. <laughs> Your cat's not fixed yet. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong button. Is it... Yeah, it's sort of on the way back. Let's do it on the way back. It's not an emergency. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. This is such an unusual game, like oh. Just something about the trailer though just captured me and I am I am 
definitely captured. I want to know what what happens. Oh, this is our house, right? Isn't it? Is it our house? No, maybe not. Don't take the cat out with you. I can't deliver the letter? Oh, come on. I just knew the cat lady was going to be an issue. I just knew it. So it won't always be just normal deliveries. It, it might be something out of the ordinary, potentially, like this. Potentially. Who knows? Ooh. One full of the looking place. So this guy is, that means I can, a, a vet and as such, but he knows about animals, probably more than me. Apparently he's closed though. Hello, got a cat, apparently looks a bit ill. Is anyone here? Hello. Oh, that door's not gonna open. Anyone upstairs? Nope. Alright. There's one more door left. Ooh. That must be our guy. Excuse me, I've got a cat. Mr. Mackey? I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith what Weiss. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Ah, maybe that's the issue. I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you. Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Well, that went fairly well, right? It probably is the diet. Yeah. Well, we're going to deliver the parcel uh, next. Got a little journey ahead of us, but we should be there in no time. Don't worry. And hopefully the cat will be um, okay. You can't feed your cats cupcakes. All right, guys? Just... Just gonna put that out there, all right? Just, just don't. <laughs> uh. This person's really out on the sticks. Oh, maybe not. Is it like a motel? Ooh. Okay. All right, let's deliver this parcel. Some weird sounds there. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing. Is that an arcade machine? Yeah, something's going on. Working hard, I see. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Oh, these computer games. Ugh. Um, anyone home? Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. Okay, sir. We're actually gonna wait here for a minute. That's so rude. Is that a parcel for me? Yep. No, it's mm -hmm. Bigfoot. No, it's for Bigfoot. You can <laughs> just put it on the counter. Well, great. You're welcome. So rude. So rude. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I didn't do that. <laughs> right, one last letter and we are done for today. 
There's some interesting characters around here. I can also sort of see why she left. Let's go! Final delivery! Oh! What is going on up there? What the? Can you see it? Huh? What's going on? A little nosy? Oh. Someone crashed? <laughs> That's a hefty crash. What the? Random? Anyway, that is the last delivery done. We're going back home. Do we read a book again? Do we watch TV? This is such a random game. There's something about it. I'm just not sure if you guys are the same or whether you think it's... There's probably two, two people, I think. Intrigued or think it's the most boring game on planet Earth. But that's, that's... Yeah. You go either of those two ways. <laughs> I'm definitely in the intrigued camp. Definitely. Right, park it back up the, the post office. Have our evening again. Maybe we go out. Ooh, that would be intriguing. Done. End of the work day. Wednesday evening. So what's that, day two? Of 14, I guess. There it is, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, How are Steve's you? Steve's back. Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Um... I guess, but that's nice for a change. I guess, but that's nice for a change. A break. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send Hundreds? it to the post office, right? I guess so. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> Add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet, bye. <sighs> oh, that guy's a right ass. If he's my boss, I'm out of there. Absolutely dumb. <laughs> um, we can watch the film we got. Yeah, go for it. All right, well, let's watch this. Could be horrific, but we're gonna watch it anyway. We didn't get to see it. I want to see it. I want to see the film. Oh, Steve's parcel. Ooh, that's heavy. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there, anyways. Take care, Tess. Great. Basically working two jobs. And that looks like a lot of letters and a lot of parcels. Or what do we have in the back? Should have a little nosy. Imagine if it's like a parcel shaped like a gun. <gasps> Don't. Don't. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Should we play more? Uh, the demo, I think, is five to six days, maybe. And I think, the, obviously, the full game is 14 days or two weeks or whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.